Hey, I'm Kevin from Vsauce 2, and Darwin's bark spider, found only in Madagascar, spins the toughest biological material known to man. But after about a day, tiny specks of dust build up on a spider's web, diminishing its stickiness. Like how tiny metallic burrs that occur during machining reduce the effectiveness of brilliantly engineered parts. In nature, spiders eat the compromised web, recycling the protein to create fresh, perfect silk. But what if they could remove the dust without harming the silk? In manufacturing, spider company deburs and perfects brilliantly engineered parts with electrochemical deburring. Electrochemical deburring eliminates burrs with microscope certified repeatably perfect results in a fraction of the time of manual deburring without leaving visible or secondary burrs. The electrochemical dissolution process can be best described as reverse electroplating. A positive charge is connected to the part, making it the anode, and the negative charge or cathode is placed near the area to be deburred. The electrons carried in salt water focus activity on the burrs instead of the parent material. The solid metal burr is broken down into a minor hydroxide slurry as a byproduct of the process. Once it chews away the burr, the electrolyte solution dissipates across the surface area, while eliminating the burrs without leaving behind any dust, powder, or debris. For example, here's a typical fixture we'll use in this case for deburring a gear with the Spider ECD Model 1021 machine. After plugging it in and connecting the electrolytic fluid, the part that needs deburring goes into the fixture, and the electrodes slide in to a designed gap between them and the part. Simply clamp it down, which makes the electrical connection with the part activate the spider ECD with the foot switch and notice the flowing electrolyte. Using the voltage adjust knob, the voltage is regulated up until about 10 amps of current flow and you see the fluid is bubbling, indicating the deburring work is in process and after a predetermined set time, it automatically shuts the ECD process off. Upon completion, you can see the newly created radius on the edge of the gear teeth. Using interchangeable handheld probes in the lower-powered Spider ECD Model 1001 machine, we can easily deburr holes and crosshole intersections. This one features four 90-degree crossholes that distribute the electrolyte. The probe itself is insulated for unintentional probe-to-part contact. If inadvertent contact is made, the arc protection circuitry designed into the machine will shut it down almost instantaneously, minimizing scrap. Spider can even custom design feature-specific tools, like this one that has three areas designed to deburr three intersecting cross holes. Unlike manual deburring, this non-contact deburring process will not affect the stability of the material by applying excessive heat or friction to the part. That means you can deburr features that were nearly impossible to reach with old manual methods, and you can control the process for radiusing an edge or corner. Depending on the part, Spider ECD can greatly reduce cycle time. One case study saw an 8-hour job trimmed to just 20 minutes, and the consistently flawless results are unmatched. Spider is servicing aerospace customers with deburring quality requirements only ECD is capable of achieving. It provides all of this in a process that's less tiring for manufacturing line workers, and the Spider ECD is National Electrical Code classified as low voltage, meaning it's safe. Spider created these devices to raise the IQ of deburring, and now these post-machining breakthroughs are available to you. In nature, spider webs use electrically conductive glue spread across their surface to capture prey. In manufacturing, spider uses electrochemical dissolution, and our prey are burrs.